Are you listening to this episode on Himalaya? If you are, congratulations, because you're already using the best new podcast app out there. If you're not, well, you're a loser and missing out, so get it together. Uh, Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool new features like curated shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is, it's super easy to use. It's definitely my favorite listening app, and I'm sure it will be yours too. So do yourself a favor and download Himalaya today, and be sure to follow my show, Worst Firsts, once you're there. Bye. Everybody, we are here. Worst First Podcast. Thank you so much for all the listeners. You guys have been unbelievable. The amount of support has been crazy. I just started this podcast not that long ago, like only a few months ago. Thanks. I had nothing going on in my life. Yeah, I was like pretty <laughs> bored. Just sitting in Calabasas, just like wondering what to do with my life. I was like, should I go get another smoothie? I've already had seven today. Were, were you like collecting stories? Though, yeah, because I've like gone worst... on, yes, because okay. I've gone on so many bad dates. So I was like, this is a podcast. <laughs> and at first it was a YouTube series. Now it's a podcast. But anyway, our guest, obviously, you guys can see or not see yet because this is, might just be audio first. But is Mina Suvari? You don't the need am- to see it. Amazingly <laughs> talented actress. Oh, She's been killing me. the game. So talented. I'm the biggest fan. Uh, Nina, when when Nina, Nina- took a neck <laughs> dive. <laughs> When, she was so when, excited. When Mina walked in, <laughs> Nina jumped off the table and tried to commit suicide. She she hit her neck on here and then just fell. Are you okay? No, she's like, she's okay. Yeah, she's okay. She's a little traumatized. She'll come over and see you halfway through. Yeah, she's having. She had a panic attack. She's, she's okay. Stuck. She's mentally re- recuperating right now. <laughs> but it is so good to have you here. Thank you you came all the way from Silver Lake. That's all far. If you guys don't know, LA is like, I mean, if you're coming from Silver Lake, she might as well have come from like Quebec, Canada to Burbank. Like it's I, I like drove a, through the park. It yeah, was it's a lot. It's a lot. Like you got to jog, jog uh, do- joggers. You got to dodge them. Kids gotta, on bikes. Yeah, yeah, just people get everywhere. Out of the road. Traffic. Yeah, get <laughs> off your bike, guys. Stop <laughs> exercising. What's your problem? Yeah, not till later. Yeah. Like 5 p.m. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. It's a yeah. Hot. Get, exercise when the sun goes down, okay? <laughs> Calm down. No one's trying to get skin cancer out here. Um, I'm so glad you came this is awesome so excited and i know you have some stories because you want to hear my secrets i want to hear everything (laughs) did you grow up in la i mean pretty much i so i was born in rhode island okay i live there (laughs) i love rhode island right (laughs) rhode island's RISD school of design i actually met somebody once and they said you mean long island i said no it's actually a state (laughs) i know it's the smallest one but we're there um, it's but, just a lighthouse. <laughs> like I grew up on Rhode Island. It's just a lighthouse. That's, not even an island. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, but I lived there till I was about eight. I lived in St. John in the Virgin Islands for a year. Wow. And then Charleston, South Carolina for three. And then I moved out here, but I was almost 15. So I wow. sort of am from here Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, you moved here when you're 15. You're definitely yeah. like here. You're, yeah. You grew High up here. High school right. ruined me here. Oh, and it was no. Just, it was a hard left. No, what, <laughs> what high school did you go to? Uh, I went to two. two I went ones. to uh, Notre Dame. Oh, and then okay. I graduated from Providence. Yeah, here in Burbank. Well, in yeah. Burbank. Private Catholic, not religious. Oh. Just went for the uniforms <laughs> and the strict. Listen, I don't want to think <laughs> about what I have to wear every day. Where has the best, cutest uniforms yet? Yeah, but I even got that wrong. Really? And that does segue into my first story. Okay, so I want to hear it. Let's go. It. I want to hear it. Just, just sh- fucking dive right into it. It's head first. On Monday. Um, okay. Yeah, well, it was the first time that I ever drank. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's a doozy. And you were 15? I, yeah, I was 15. Oh, I damn. remember being a freshman. Uh, it's, I, I, it was, so it was uh, during lunch and. In school? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I, I have to go back and back <gasps> and back. So when I came out here, I was um, very nerdy. Like, I, I went to an all girls school. And so it was like coming into co-ed and it's uniforms yes. and I just got it all wrong on day one. And How? being Like I had the, the, <laughs> the button like all the way up Dead. buttoned. And I you had, had it like, tight, so tight you were bloodshot in the face. You're all, I think this is right. I had my skirt like way down to my knee. Yeah, thanks. And all the other that girls like the had theirs like up their ass. Like rolled like three <laughs> times with like their boxers out and Doc Martens and this was the 90s. Whoa. And I was just thinking like, but I just wanted to do my schoolwork yeah. and, you know, and You're whatever. You're a good kid. I was, I was trying to be good. Yeah. Uh, but I was sort of always, like, taken in and then, like, spit out by every <sighs> crew. And so these girls, which 
I thought were my friends. Yeah, so this ew. is, you know, when yeah. you sort of learn, like, who's really not your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the bathroom, like, hanging out at lunchtime. And they're mm -hmm. like, here, literally this size. If you can see this. Yeah, so this water, water bottle. bottle. Guys, an eight ounce water bottle. I think that's and what this is. And it's full of tequila. Whoa. Just straight tequila. And I never drank before. Like, my father, when um, we were little, he would mow the lawn and, like, we could have the the foam of like the St. Pauli girl that yeah. he had while he was like sweating doing the yard work. Right. Um, so it's like this bottle of liquor and I've never even seen it before oh, and I didn't know. And I think, you know, when you're pressured. Oh yeah. Obviously to like fit in in some way. And I, I don't know. I don't remember like the moment of like, yeah. this is a smart idea, I'm yeah. gonna do this. Like I just remember drinking it. Were they all drinking it? Yeah. So everyone I was think. kind of passing it around, smoking cigarettes in the girls' room. Well, like. we weren't smoking, okay. but clearly I didn't eat my lunch. Oh no. So empty stomach. Yeah, everything just added all up and it equals wrong. Very wrong. So then I forgot that um I had a geometry test. Oh my god. But I was really good in geometry. I was like A plus. Oh wow. And I was like sat in the front. I was that that nerd. Wow, I'm like, I can't um, even pick out an octagon. I'm like, what is that? A, a, what is that, a, a trijugulon? What is that? <laughs> but I, yes. So I, I remember leaving the bathroom, and then, you know, the bell rings, and then you sort of were like, oh, shit, I didn't eat. Oh, I should have probably done that. And then I had French class, which was awesome. To and how much through. of this did you drink? I drank the whole bottle somehow. But this is what happens when you're like 15 and your liver's really good. So you you're able to drink the whole bottle. I think I did. She, and you were t you're a tiny person. I'm like five foot four. Yeah, she's so. a small person, guys. So this is a whole a eight ounce <laughs> bottle of tequila. But well, okay, so but it gets there's more to the story. So yeah. I came out and I'm standing there in this sort of like open courtyard, you know. And then you go to like your everybody like you know goes to their goes classes. off to their their different buildings and classes. And all of a sudden, the world just went like this. Oh it just, my God. there was like no boundary. Everything was just moving. Oh and my God. I had to sort of try to hold on. And I remember calling to one of my classmates in the hallway. I was like, Mary, <laughs> like, I'm like holding onto the locker, like, Mary, <laughs> don't leave me. And then she had to go to another class. So I made it through French class. I sat in the back, though. And I remember just staring at my desk like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? Like, I got to get out of here. You know, like, You're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was not, none of it like registered at all. Excuse but I was like a straight A student. Whoa. So I know. It's it's a weird. It's always like very ironic with me. I'm. Like, You're like super smart, but like the <laughs> world is spinning. You're like, I got it together. Est-ce que je peux aller tout là, s'il vous plaît? Oh my god. Yeah. So so then by the time I was in geometry, I don't know. Somehow I like shuffled over. That, that was the same building. So I think I was able to just like go down the hallway and just oh. like slide into my chair. Oh my god. And he puts the test down, and I remember just sort of looking at it. And then after a few beats. I was like, you know what, I can't do this. I can't do this. So I just stood up, I took my test, I walked up to the de uh, to the teacher, and I just put it down in front of him. I was like, I can't do this. And I just <laughs> walked, I just walked yeah, out. I was drunk. Yeah, I walked out into the hallway, and I went to the bathroom, and I stayed there the last period. Oh, did you school. throw up? Then that oh, adventure started. Oh my God. So because we had moved out here, I know it's a good story. <laughs> Jesus, I would have had a panic attack. I would have been like, okay, what's happening? Well, you don't, I mean, yes. Yeah. And I felt alone. Clearly yes. Mary left me. Yeah, like, Mar what the no fuck, one Mary? <laughs> Gee, we're, Mary, fuck you. All right, if you're listening to this, you piece of shit. Well. Good friend, huh, Mary? Jill was the one that gave it to me. So All right, you know what, Jill? Whatever happened We're going to fight. <laughs> Jill in the bottle of tequila. All right, Jill works at Walmart now, so don't worry about it. <laughs> no. You're the so, winner, no. So because we had moved out from South Carolina, we were um, somehow gifted my mom, I mean, my grandmother's, I think it was an 88 Fleetwood Cadillac. Whoa. And it was like the the white one with the... Um, like the the limousine things on like it? Blue, it had like the blue top. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, like, yeah. The My grandfather had a catalog, seats. too. Yeah, yeah, just super nice. Those yes. were nice. Yeah. No, no, no? not when you're 15. Embarrassing. Oh, yes. You had to drive it. No, my brother oh. picked me up in it, but oh. he would pick me up, like, with all the windows down, blaring country music. 
Oh, not cool when you're here in Los Angeles. When you're wasted. So he picks me up, and I I think I was with a friend. We were supposed to take her home, and I'd gotten her a gift. And I just remember throwing up at a stoplight. Oh, my God. And then I somehow took her gift. I don't remember this, but I somehow took it. I took the gift out. I threw it. And then I threw up in the bag. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so. I can't. So, you know, and my brother is probably. Your brother's like, what the fuck? He's probably what? like, no. I don't. know you don't like country music, but you don't have to puke about it. <laughs> I guess we have strong accents. Brittany, no kidding. He's You're like, trying to not what my brother sounds like at all. Well, um, he, he, so he is about seven years older than me. So we get back to our apartment mm-hmm. and, um. My father, my father was a psychiatrist. Oh my God. And I'm in my room, <laughs> the door closed, and my father you know, knocks on the door and he's like, what did you do? How did he know? I you could just tell. Well, well, that's part of the story. So he says, what did you do? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nothing. And he says, <laughs> he says, you reek. And that was it. He's he, like, you smell like the back of a Chipotle. Ma- <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? He made me uh, soup. He made Aww. me like broth Aww. with rice. Aww. And just, he never like scolded me. Whoa. He knew. Yeah. And so he just sort of like nursed me back. I remember laying on the Aww. sofa while my brother took photos of me. There's a photo somewhere of me like flicking him off. Dead. Like drunk the first time at 15. Fuck <laughs> you. Like, back in. Yeah. You know, and he's just loving it. Like, look at my baby <laughs> yeah, sister drunk. He's having a meltdown. Um, and from that moment on, I have never had a shot. Yeah. I've had, like, wow. I'll have a glass of wine. Right, I'll have, it. like, a beer. I've never had liquor. Because it made you hate it. Right? I've never drank. Like It's scary. Uh, yeah, should, that They was feel like fun. we should give young kids, like, too much alcohol at some point just at one point monitor them just so it makes them sick so they never want it you know well it I mean? was interesting because my father he ne- it was never like this you know he just he didn't scold me in the way that you would think and right right yeah it was interesting he just like made you feel bad like i'm upset with your decisions that's almost worse oh, yeah. than getting yelled at well i think when you feel like such ass like yeah. you you know you've tapped into it like you may yeah. you can make that own connection yourself right like, this isn't serving me this sucks um and what about your shitty yeah. friends did they get sick i don't know i don't think so did you Not drink like the that. most yeah so that was yeah it was so sort that. of like you know, it was like, uh, give it to Mikey. Like, he'll eat right, it. Like, right, give it to right, me right, now. Like, right. she'll drink it. You know, she'll do it. Oh, my God. So your dad's a psychiatrist. He was, yeah. He was? That's amazing. Yeah. What was that like, growing up with a psychiatrist? Like, uh, A lot of me feeling like if I talked more, it would sort of, like, you know, appease any situation. Because he would just be listening. He'd be like, let's talk about it. Always? He'd be like, mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I always felt he like was he was so sort of... good at the fake listening face. He was like, mm-hmm. no, he was listening. Was but really I think listening. you know, they're just uh, what's it's um it's intimidating. Yeah, because he's just constantly listening. It's like you could there was no way that I could get around it. Yeah, <laughs> you but know? that's like that, I mean, did, did you ever feel like um like oh like you know he's like analyzing me or like did oh he yeah ever... yeah wow. but I was the only girl. Oh okay. So I had that card to play. and one older brother, three older brothers, three older brothers. Yes, yes. And then what did your mom do? That influences him. No, right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, really though, honestly, yeah. brothers. I have an older brother. I was like a tomboy forever because of that. But okay, what did your mom do? Uh, my mom, uh, she was a nurse when she was younger. That's how she met my father, oh. and then um, sort of, you know, stay at home mom. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now I she does that. real estate. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Career woman. She is. Yeah. That's badass. She loves it. Out yeah. here. No, no, she lives in the South. Yeah, we're all over the You're place. All over I've now. got like some family in the South, a couple uh, relatives out here, brother up north. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. I can't believe it. So fifteen, those girls sucked. We don't talk to them anymore, right? None of them. Should we? I've no, I've never. You're not friends with anyone from high school. No, because then I went to um, I went to Providence. I went there my junior year. So you switched high schools. I did. Yeah. What made you switch high schools? Ugh. Like it's just just bullshit, right? Like when I came out here, I was ahead in a few classes. I was in Latin. 
I told you. You seem super smart. And I was in calculus. Yeah, and you seem way smart. Like, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. No, but I was made fun of. Because yeah, you're smart. Because I was like a freshman in some sophomore classes. Yeah. And so I finished math like my junior year. They didn't want me to, I don't know. I was like a day late on turning in a form and they wanted me to go down with something, a credit. And I said no. And my friend was leaving anyway. So I yeah. said, I'll go, to, I'll go to Providence. So I left wow. sort of like for the math credit, but then because my friend was leaving. And it's then not like it was friend, any better. Your friend went to the new school. You went to the new school with yeah. your friend? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. At, least, at least you had a friend. Yeah. Did you hate high school? It was still horrible. Horrible, yes. right? How bad was high school? Did you like high school? I fucking hated it. I never it. went to prom. Like, I never did I any of these cool prom. things that people were like, oh. Like, my whole character in, um, in uh, American Pie, that sort of like, Love and yeah, yeah. you know prom like no no not you at all no, total not. opposite mm -hmm. isn't that funny you know I didn't go to either of my proms either everyone okay. thought I was a lesbian the guys were like she's gay anyway I was like why because I was like very tomboyish because I had an older brother you wore corduroy yeah I did <laughs> I did wear corduroy how did you know that and I wore plaid shirts and Doc Martens I tried to fit where in. are you from I'm from Philly okay yeah so that everyone was like yo I'm not asking her she probably likes vagina I'm like oh thanks guys all right well that's fine uh, I kind of do so that's okay um but yeah no I was the same thing yeah it was, it was interesting have you met anyone that's like I love high school is just yes. the best yes oh, and really? I don't get along with them at all they're like I fucking loved it I was on cheer squad and I was a fucking a prom queen and captain of I you played know. those characters right but yeah and very no. well yeah so that gave me my experience I used to say that that like American Pie gave me yeah my high school experience because because it just was not like that. You didn't need Meanwhile, to Meanwhile, I was drinking school. tequila in the bathroom. Dead. That's Heather, a crazy no. story. I can't believe <laughs> yeah. you didn't puke. Oh, you did puke. You puked twice. I did. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Well, at least it taught you. Yeah. But it just. Gnarly. It, yeah, I mean, it teaches you. Obviously, I'm still learning these lessons. You yeah. Know, 40, that, like, you should just be who you want to be. And you don't have to push yourself, you know, to fit in in any particular circumstance. Yep. Like, what was I trying to obtain then? Right. You're like, I want to be friends with girls who are alcoholics. They think I was cool. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? It just did nothing for me. And I missed my geometry chest. Ugh. My God! Thank God for that. Egg. Like, okay. fucked with my fucking my grades. That's yes. fucked up. Who fucks with my grades? It's a good lesson to learn, but in a hard way. For all my know? younger listeners, just know that, like, don't feel pressured to fit in. It's no, not, not at all. And don't do it. it at school. Yeah, it's not worth <laughs> it, dude. Just be you. You'll be out of there in no time. You can go live your life. Yeah. Like, don't you can worry learn about lessons it. in a safe, monitored environment. Yes, <laughs> not yes. like that. Not like that. Not in a bathroom with no. a, a water bottle full of tequila. Jesus, I can't believe you drank the whole thing. I could never do that. I would die. I don't remember all of it. I yeah. just like I remember the size of it. Yeah, yeah. And like the color. I don't even think I knew what tequila was. You're like, but, oh, I'll take that. But That's these cool. were like the cool girls. Yeah. I mean, for me, like that experience then, you would think, oh, you know, private Catholic. It's just, it's like this very refined, refined right, expensive right. school. Mm -hmm. If you weren't across the street smoking cigarettes and like literally drinking out of a whiskey bottle at like 7, right. 7.30, you weren't cool. All I'm thinking of is Cruel Intentions with Sarah Michelle Gellar with the cross yeah. full of... Cut. Or had nipple piercings or oh tattoos. Oh, my God. Yes. And I came from Charleston. I was like, what's going on? The Catholic school girls? Jesus. Yeah, like that was like, it, you were cool. Yeah. You were like what, you know, you wanted wow. to be. And so that skirt just got shorter. Yeah, shorter and shorter. shorter. And like, I don't want to shorten my skirt. That's then I ended up in detention because I was violating the uniform. Mm -hmm. Cause you were trying to fit in. You were like, I gotta do my, I gotta hike my skirt up. Everybody yeah. else is doing it. Started it started buttoned and it turned into, <sighs> you know. <laughs> Fucking all the buttons. The Aerosmith video. <laughs> Dead. You're on top of a car. It's like water. Yes. Like, what is she doing? That's a lot. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, wait. We're going to take a quick break, okay. and then we're going to be back with you, and I can't wait to hear more oh, of no. your stories. This is like amazing. I'm just going to keep asking you questions. This is amazing. Okay. Guys, stay tuned with Mina Subari. My favorite thing in the world is when people come up to me and go, what are you wearing? And I'm like, you know, not usually my outfit because that's crazy looking, but it's the perfume that I'm wearing. They're like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. You smell so good. That's my favorite thing to hear because I have like this fear of always smelling like body odor. And so I usually tell them my favorite fragrance, um, which right now is Gucci Guilty, kind of an old one, but I still love it. Um, but you know what's really cool is that... I love changing my fragrances up. I like to change my fragrances up at least like every other month, try something new. And, you know, I notice people come up and say, what is that smell? I love it. And, you know, it makes me feel rad to tell them what it is. 
Um, so the thing is, though, perfume's kind of expensive, especially to buy like the big bottles and those testers last, last for like four sprays and then they're done. So like, what is the answer to that? Well, the answer to that is this company called Scentbird. Okay, that's S-C-E-N-T-B-I-R-D dot com. Scentbird is so cool because they literally have 450 designer brands. I'm sorry, more than 450 designer brands for you to choose from of different perfumes and colognes. This is for you too, guys. I mean, I'm talking names like Prada, Tom Ford, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Cartier, Glossier, Gucci. You know, it sounds like a, a song. It's It's the best, though. You go on there. They have every designer perfume you could want. And you can order these perfumes and they come in these bottles that fit in your purse or your, you know, your laptop bag. And they all contain 120 sprays, which is enough to apply more than four times a day for a month. I mean, who's going to be putting on that much perfume anyway? Honestly, it's so rad. And by the way, inexpensive. So for my listeners, you guys can get 50% off your first month of Scentbird. And your first fragrance for only $7.50. I mean, that's a lot better than spending $50 to $100 on a bottle of perfume, if you ask me. And it lasts just as long. It's like, I mean, it lasts really long. Comes in this cute little pouch and this cute little spray bottle fits right in your purse. So if you're interested in changing up your perfumes and don't want to break the bank on perfume but want designer perfume, head over to scentbird.com. That's S-C-E-N-T-B-I-R-D.com slash worst, W-O-R-S-T, and enter my promo code worst for 50% off your first month. And you get to try your first perfume or cologne for just $7.50. Sign on and smell amazing. So if you're like me and you didn't go to college or whether you did go to college or not, you know, sometimes it's hard to acquire skills. I mean, you can only watch so many YouTube tutorials. Am I right, guys? I mean, honestly, nothing ever turns out correct when I do that stuff anyway. So I heard about this company called Skillshare, and I have a lot of interests, obviously, other than just being, you know, a podcaster and a psychopath. Um, You know, I like other stuff. I like photography. I like joke writing. I like public speaking. I like dogs. I have so many interests. And I'm like, you know, what can I do with these skills? You know, how can I really hone my skills? And there's this website called Skillshare.com. That's S-K-I-L-L Share.com. And on this website, they have over 2,000 different classes that you can take and learn all kinds of different skills from creative writing to design to productivity, photography, everything. So, you know, whether you have something that you're like, oh, like I really want to learn how to become, I don't know, a baker, you know, a shoemaker, you know, who knows? You can head over to Skillshare.com slash worst, W-O-R-S-T, and you get two months of free skills. So if you're someone that has no skills, this is your chance to get some free skills. You can say that you're a skilled person. You can add that to your resume. I have skills. And honestly, just it's worth it to just check out the website and see all the different things they offer because there's so many on there. I mean, it's a plethora of different things that you can take classes on. And if you're someone that's really looking to, you know, hone your ability in something or take up something new or you have some free time, you want to take your mind off of something in your life, this is a great chance to do it. And you get two months free. So what do you really have to lose here? Nothing besides just getting some skills. So if you have a computer, which I hope you have, or a phone, whatever, head over to Skillshare.com. Again, that's S-K-I-L-L-S-H-A-R-E.com slash worst, W-O-R-S-T, for two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. You're welcome. I love you guys. Who likes to be all natural? Who likes to smell super fresh? This is why I don't get paid to do singing uh, voiceover jobs, guys. But um, anyway, listen. I'm wearing this deodorant right now. I got into the whole aluminum free thing after I heard that aluminum and deodorant can cause lots of problems and uh, you can Google that. I'm not going to go into the list right now. So I decided I was like, I want to try natural deodorant, but I always felt like most natural deodorants I got from the grocery store weren't strong enough because I'm just such an anxiety ridden psychopath that I'm constantly sweating and freaking out and I was like, you know, maybe I do need the aluminum because I have so much, so many problems going on under my arms, but I found Myro, and 
I am just obsessed with it. I, I mean, I, I know someone's like, say, obsessed with deodorant. That sounds so stupid. But I love this deodorant. I love it, number one, because it's all natural. There's no parabens. There's no, you know, toxic anything in it. No talc, no mineral oil, like no weird stuff, you know. It works, which is crazy because most of the natural deodorants that I've used, after like a couple hours, I start smelling like, you know, crap again, which sucks. Um, and also... It comes in this little cute container that you basically, you order these refills for it on the website when you're out and you plop it in and it like, it's really cute. I, I, it's hard to explain. It like rotates up. It's like a deodorant holder and which helps save the environment. So you're not like wasting buying like a whole new, you know, stick with the little turn thing. It has the turn thing and you just put the inserts in and it's great. And it's, you know, you just order the inserts and when you use them, you throw those out and they're called uh, Dio pods. Get it? Deodorant pods. So basically what happens is you can choose from five different scents. They have Big Dipper, Pillow Talk, Solar Flare, Chill Wave, Cabin Number 5. I don't know. That one sounds weird. But I don't know. I don't know which one I'm wearing right now, but it smells really good. You get a pay, uh, one case and one pod and a $10 starter kit for try for 30 days. And you get 50% off for you guys. So to start it out, you'll get a case one pod it's ten dollars to try for 30 days you hate it whatever get don't use it again but i bet you'll love it and you get 50 percent off so you'll just go to my myro www.mymyro.com slash worst and use the promo code worst and get 50 percent off your deodorant order natural deodorant Vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, cruelty-free, helping the environment actually works. Visit mymyro.com slash worst and get 50% off your order with Myro deodorant using the promo code worst. Enjoy. Okay, we're back. <laughs> That's a break. <laughs> yeah. It's always weird for my guests because we don't actually take a break. Damn. We actually just pause for two seconds and then they fill in ads later. I know. Right? She's like, I have to pee. I'm like, nope, pee yourself. And uh, there's a bag under the table if you need to. I'm just kidding. No, I'm so I'm I'm just so excited you're here. I'm like Thank fangirling. Can I'm we so talk excited. about your eye makeup for a second? Oh my god! When did you do this? And how amazing is it? This morning, I literally have sunscreen. I like because I thought we were I, like, just talking. I like work at Mac. I'm like, uh, can I work at Mac? Like I always, I was like, I spend too much time. So like, I live in Calabasas, and I like none of my friends live out there, so I have a lot of time to myself. So I'm always like trying new shit, just sitting in my <laughs> for hours. My husband's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm trying a new eye look." He's like, "Whoa, dude, you've been in there for like three hours. Calm I down." Love like, that. very That's bored. Good, though. Eh, you know, it's good. I'm it's getting to nice. know myself. I go for a lot of walks. <laughs> I used to do that a lot. I right? wanted lavender hair. You would look really good with lavender hair. I used to do like all the. I mean, this is the '90s. You, you the still look the same. No, you do. <laughs> you look exactly the same, which is crazy. I have a lot of tape on me. No, you look exactly, it's a freaking me I out. hide the tape track. No. Okay, you look exactly the same. And lavender hair would be awesome. Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah no, I know. It's like <laughs> parents are like, what is that? What are you doing? Uh, I know, I, as I get older, I'm like, I keep trying new things. Like, I'm like, I might have different colored hair at some I'll point. probably it's be fun. that person that's like 65 with and pink just go hair. on like a bender yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 I'm doing all and the things I never piercings. Just... yeah yeah just standing out front of high schools with your skirt all racked up with nipple like, what happened to Mina Su is that Mina Suvari in front of the high school god Shit, midlife crisis I'm dead wait so how did you get into acting I know you've probably told this story uh, a million times but... um well I technically did my first commercial when I was seven. Oh, okay yeah, in Rhode Island kind of I mean, it was always something that, um, like I said, I'm like polar opposites. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I always had this like artistic, creative side, but then um, I literally had like a four foot archaeological dig in our backyard and wanted to be an archaeologist or like an architect or, wow. you know, I chose medical research when I was younger. I never thought of being an actor. But then at wow. the same time, you know, I was doing a little bit of like child modeling and I did this regional commercial. And That's amazing. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I think it was like a way to sort of express myself and get yeah. that energy out. But I didn't like think of it as my like, career per se. You were like, this is just a hobby or this is just fun. I mean, I was so young, too. Yeah, just, yeah. I was like eight. Wow. You know, and then we moved to St. John. And then by the time we got to Charleston, we probably would have stayed there. But just for fun, um, 
there was like a basic modeling class. It was an all girls school. In the school? That I went, no, no, no. That, oh. It was an all girls school that I went to. And okay. they and this rep from a basic modeling class that was near to where I lived came uh-huh. and um, sort of pitched it. It was like, learn how to take a photo or <laughs> like put on makeup. Like, you Fun. know. Yeah. I wish you had that. That's cool. And, yeah. You're like, hell yeah. Yeah. So I did it with a friend and then um, – and then they wanted me to uh, do like a photo shoot for headshots to become part of the agency. Wow. And then they had a modeling uh, convention. It was like nationwide that was coming up. Uh, this was probably like in the fall, so it was the beginning of that next year that they wanted me to go. And so it all just sort of like Happened. snowballed. So by the time that I went to the convention, um, I went with my parents. I met with all the top modeling agencies and uh, Wilhelmina signed me in their kids division. Yeah. So I went to summer. Uh, I went to New York for for that summer. When I was thirteen with my parents, and I did some uh, editorial. But then the next summer, when I was fourteen, they had a commercial division. Wow! And so I came out here, and then I got a commercial, and they were like, "You should move out here." So it. So your parents moved out here for you, essentially. I yeah. That's incredible. I mean, yeah. My brothers were um, two. I mean, one was about to graduate high school. The other two were in college uh-huh. um, at that point, and. I mean, it just sort of happened because we came out here. We stayed at the Oakwood, like oh, you know, like everybody like, yeah, for three the, months, and then I got this commercial, and so that's then amazing. So I went back for two months for uh-huh. my freshman uh, year in high school, uh-huh. and then moved out here. Just transferred. It sounds like yeah. it was just in the cards for you. I mean, they sort of pitched to my family, like you know, it t- it, some people it takes them like five years to get a commercial. You should try this, yeah. and. So, yeah, I mean, it seems effortless. Like, it seems like you're like, oh, I just showed up and they were like, hey, we like you and come on in and the door's wide open. No, it was it's never been easy. But, you know, a lot of yes, I've had a lot of luck come my way, but it's taken definitely a lot of work, a lot of work as well. What were your first like editorials? Do you have any horror oh, stories York? about your jobs? I'm sure you do. You don't get any names or anything. I know mm. that. But have you ever had a job where you were like, Jesus, no. what did I get into? No, I remember at that time like hearing about someone that I knew that just so young. They were like, well, if we give you a nose job and we like what? break this phone and this, like, you know, you'll. He's like, I'm seven. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me a nose job? I'm only seven. And I just felt, you know, it's just things you shouldn't be thinking about, you know, at that age. Yeah. Um, I wasn't the best model. I think that's why they were like try acting, but I was only five two, and now I'm only five four. So, but it doesn't matter when you're doing print, right? Or does no, it? No, a lot of the because I met with all the top Molly agencies, and they said, you know, we'll take her at five six, five seven, because Kate Moss had just come on yes. the scene, sort of like you know broke the boundaries. Yeah. she was like the shortest model of yeah. all, but she's great. Yeah, yes. So I didn't make it. I'm a <laughs> five four. So, Aww. so but it worked for for acting and. Uh, but I did uh, some Oscar de la Renta ads. Yeah. At what age? I know, right? That's incredible. Well, they're like, I have them and they're swimsuit ads. You should post these. I think I was. On your social media. I would love to see them. I'm sure everyone would. It's That's funny because cool. it's like I'm 13, but I'm wearing like a bikini. And it's a Hell like... yeah. Why not? When I was 13, I thought <laughs> I was 18. Did you? Were you like that? Uh, I wanted to be, and I definitely worked hard at behaving that way. Yeah. And people used to comment that about yes, me. Yes, you're very, you act very old for your so age. So then that influenced me to be that way. Yes. But it's like lost youth. Like, don't I really know, recommend it. Is, it. it you is know what I mean? Lost youth. Yeah. It's funny. It is. Because like, I, I remember when I was younger, when I was that age, I always wanted to be older. Yeah. And then I turned, now I'm 32, and I'm like, okay, I want to be 13 again. Can we do uh, 32. I just people, I'm, like, I'm oh, 13. Brittany. I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my husband says the same thing. Although we look the same age, so that's great. Um, I love it. That's crazy. I love that. I so. remember 30s. I was like, because I didn't know of, I had no concept of anything like after 21. Really? Like I thought when you were when I was really little, I thought 21, like you knew everything. Yes, and adult, you were an adult, full right? adult. Yeah. And then now I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How did I get to this number? And what does it mean? And I know it's yeah. kind of crazy, right? As you we get really older, like I'm like, do. what age do I feel like an adult? Because I still don't feel like one. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Like I still feel like I'm 13. Yeah. Which is weird. Is that what's going to happen? I I don't know. Like I'm like, am I going to feel this way when I'm 80? Am I going to be like in a wheelchair being like, I'm 12? I hear you. But I feel feel like, do you ever feel like other people have their shit together more than you do? Always. (laughs) Always. And then I meet people, my friends are having babies and like, they're like, "Uh, is it okay if she comes over? She's very nice. Come here. My friends are having babies and like, I'm like. How are you having a baby? We're 12. Like, in my head, I still feel like we're so young. And then I'm like, I'm seeing them be moms. Are you a mom? 
Not yet. Not yet, but you're going to be. You'll be a mommy. Yeah. I Come mean, here. I'm like, I'm I'll just I'll be like, your mom. I guess you could be Nina's mom. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'll have. Mina and Nina. Nina and Nina. Oh, I love that. She's yeah. like, oh, I don't know. That's too much. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> She's like, I'm um, sorry. That's my name. I love it. I was going to name her Mina the Weena. She's it was between Mina, Tina, and Nina. My brother used to call me Weena. He a, did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. But his Mina name's Yuri, so I call him Urin. I like that. Urin? Oh, my it's God. things you got to do in okay, the so 80s when you don't have the, social media and you're a kid. 80s. <laughs> I know. I've, I got, you're I like, don't, I don't know what that. No, I I'm do. I'm too young for no, that. No, I remember. <laughs> I, when I was in high school, all we had was the um, the Nokia, like, little, oh, yeah. where you could just play Snake. I had a and beeper. You had a beeper. <laughs> Do you guys know what a beeper is? Is everyone listening to this? So a beeper is like a, a, a little pager, pager yeah. that if someone wanted to get a hold of you, my <laughs> audience is so young, they have no fucking What is They're that? They're like, yeah, hold on, write this down. Yeah, guys, write this down. <laughs> Google beeper. Um, it's like a, a lot of doctors still use them, which is crazy. Do you they? the hospital. I see the doctors have pagers, yes. Oh, wow. They wear them. So basically, someone calls you, and then that number shows up on the beeper, and then you got to find a dirty pay phone <laughs> and just fucking get... Get HIV, <laughs> pressing the number and calling. Hey, I got HIV for you. Hepatitis you, A. Yeah, hepatitis. Yeah, you get hepatitis from the cell. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I walked by a payphone the other day and I was like, how does that still exist? Oh, yeah. Like it was just one random payphone in the valley. But, but I guess Isn't some people it crazy? still don't have cell phones. I love those videos. Um, what are they called? Uh, they're on like YouTube where they show this older like technology to the younger generation. And they're like, what is that? <laughs> All the young kids, yeah. Figure it out looking yeah. at like a phone or a Walkman. They're like, yeah. just why doesn't it? Yeah, 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 I don't get this. Where do I put the DVD in? Like it's very confusing. Yeah. And Atari, they're like, I don't know what that yeah. is. It's so weird how much technology has yeah. changed. And how much it's going to keep changing. But I'm actually Or is this glad. just the conversation that we constantly have? Like, everyone that just gets older, we're always, like, reminiscing. I mean, but we're the age of the internet. Because we yeah. watch the internet happen. I know. Okay? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of monumental if you think it's about true. it. It's true. Yeah. Do you remember your first experiences online? Did you ever I have remember, any bad... Uh, being influenced about Twitter. Like, you got to get on this thing called Twitter. You got to sign up. And I was like, what is this? But I remember MySpace, too. Yes. Being, like, at festivals. And they're like, okay, guys, we're going to go do an interview. MySpace. We're going to create MySpace accounts for you. And I was like, I don't even You're know like, what MySpace? this is. MySpace? I don't want anybody in MySpace. Yeah. 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 Or you, Facebook. But I never really got onto any of that. Do you like social media? Like, what's your opinion of it? Uh, wait. Isn't it always, like, a mixed bag? Um, I mean, I did at first. And I think I still do in the sense that I – feel like I can communicate specific things or like aspects about myself that other people aren't aware of. Yes. Whereas like back in the day, I remember finding this article that I'd done uh, an interview for this magazine and it was so severely misquoted. Oh no. I literally thought like, did you just You're like, mix did up you your paper? Somebody with, else? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like quotes in bold that I'd never said and uh, you know, that was part of my process of just sort of being like you know, disheartened. Like I, I felt yeah. like um, when I was younger that you know if you read something, it was like pretty authentic. You could believe what you read, what you were reading, yeah, right? Yeah. And so that wasn't the case. So with social media, I felt like I had a little bit more control, and I would get this response from people like, "Oh, I, I didn't know that about you." Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a very like eclectic, eclectic Aquarian, so um, so that was kind of fun. Like people like getting to share different aspects of myself, and I didn't have to wait for yes. other people to do it or count on other people. Yeah. Um, but there's all the other downsides I as well. Know. You know? I know. It's actually, there's so many like double-edged swords with it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. great because like, I mean, it's great to meet people. Like, I'm so glad I got to message I you. Know, yeah. Like, that meant so much to me. I was like, oh my God, ah, so exciting and that kind of thing. But then it's also like you let a lot of assholes, a lot of assholes has, have access to you, which is, yeah. which is hard, you know? And it's yeah. hard to get, I mean, you could just block people, but also it's kind of like, oh, why bring, why are you bringing your bad energy over here, you know? Yeah, and like the, in the pressure, I think that mm -hmm. that's not... I know. Good. You know? The likes, the followers. They're thinking about getting rid of likes. Just that whole kind of, yeah. like, I remember having conversations recently with somebody about this, and, and it was funny because they knew, they themselves had experienced this, and they knew a lot of people at the same time who were just sort of exhausted with it. Oh, like, yeah. you have to 
keep up like this relevant yeah yeah we you gotta know? post like if you I don't post, post, in, I yeah. post in five days like it's like I gotta a get job a post out yeah yeah it's like a job yeah. it really yeah. is i mean it is essentially my job because i get paid yeah. to promote things and i that's how i make all my money is through social media which is crazy like yeah. it's crazy for me because it's like i can't even complain really about it because i'm like oh i wouldn't have an income if it wasn't for that you huh. know like ads and you know companies that I work with, endorsements, things like that. Like that's how I essentially make all of my money, which is insane. Yeah. But it's also like, it is. It's also like pressure, constant pressure. Like, oh, I haven't put something up in five days. And then I have friends that will text me uh, pictures with captions and go, do you think this is good or should I do this one? Like it puts oh. so much thought yeah. into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And curate it. Great, I'm going to ask you now your recommendations. Please, <laughs> send me. Hey, I love it. People are like, is this good? R write me a better caption. Like, I'll be like, okay, all right, here's a better caption. And uh, that's You're like, great. I'll send you the invoice later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, please. I do it for free. For you, okay. anything, please. I give you anything. Um, But yeah, so you so you spent pretty much your whole younger years in L.A. Have yeah. you gone on some dates, some crazy dates? I know you have. I mean, I wasn't really that person because I got married for the first time. Um, when I was, I just turned 21. 21? You yeah. got married? Yeah. Wow. So I didn't have a lot of those. Like bad doozies. experiences. Like yeah. when you're like, oh God, this guy's a nightmare. I sort of like kept to myself. And then, um, and then I was always like in longer relationships. Like I never really wow. got like picked up on. Yeah. Wow. All healthy like, and good. And like, yeah. That's crazy. Well, it's not like those, you know, I yeah. had my own challenges like in those relationships. Right, it's right. Just, yeah, I wasn't like on the scene in that way. Like I was sort of living at that time of my life like I would be now. Yes. And I was married for five years, my first marriage. Wow, yeah. that's great. That's actually that, a really yeah. long time Is in it? Hollywood, <laughs> yeah. I mean, in Hollywood, that's like 50 years, pretty much. Like, when you meet someone who's been married five wow, years, you're like, oh, great. they're doing really well. Like, it's very good. I mean, honestly, yeah. I've only been married for like half a year. Really? Yeah, oh, but I've okay. been together like three years at yeah. this point, but it's kind of funny because people are like, you know, it's, uh, they're like, it's crazy. I mean, and then you meet people who are married 50 years and you're like, yeah, oh my cool. God, okay, that's a long time. That's I remember really when I time. met Alice Cooper. You did? And he's the nicest guy. And you thought he would be gnarly? So sweet. Yeah. And was talking about his wife and his family and they've been married like something like that. Like really? 35 plus years. Yeah, don't quote me on it. But there's some people. I was so impressed. Yeah, there's some people that you're like, oh my God, they've been together forever. Yeah. So it's a, it happens, that guys. There is, you know. It's possible. It is possible. My, my friend and I were talking about this the other day too. She's like, do you believe in everlasting love? And it was such a loaded question. I was like, I don't know. I mean, I yeah. kind of do, but then I kind of don't. I know. Because I feel like people grow yeah. and change, and it's impossible for, I think, people to grow and change at the same time. Well, yeah. Unless, you know. Well, that's like the answer for everything, though. I mean, yeah. it's always like different aspects of it. Nothing's yeah. static, for sure. Right, right. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of funny because I'm like, you know, you live your life and you've had so many, I mean, I've had so many long-term relationships, as mm -hmm. I'm sure you have. Mm -hmm. And at that point in those relationships, I was like, oh, this is the one forever. Yeah. And that's how many times has that happened? You know what I mean? I like that um, reason season or a lifetime. What's that? Have you ever heard this? No. I think you can like, Google it it's like anything. But um, sort of in a sense, it's that like people come into your life for a reason. Uh -huh. So uh, those people can be like maybe it's just somebody that, you know, you meet very briefly and they communicate something to you that yes. touches you and, and changes you, right? Or sets you up for the next part of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's sort of like a season. Like maybe yeah. there's somebody who's been you've been very close with for a summer. Right. And then something happens in that relationship and it just transitions. And then there's lifetime. Wow. So there's sort of like a a cat you know, a category yes. uh, in a sense of like like I'm sure you have this too. You can sort of reflect and there are the people that um you know, maybe if you don't see them like all the time or every right. day, they're still throughout yes, your life, right? Yes. And then there are the people that sort of come and go in these stronger ways to influence you. Yes. And Actually, that's so crazy that you brought that up because I was just thinking today, I was just thinking how everything happens for a reason. And I know that's such a cliche saying, but I was just, and even just now, you mentioning this is like, you know, I got my start like on Vine. Do you remember Vine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, like, so I was like making videos on there, but 
I was dating a guy before Vine. I was doing stand up, and I only had a BlackBerry. Remember BlackBerry? I like yeah, BlackBerry. Just the te- texty, texterton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, people still have Blackberries. I act like they don't exist they're anymore. Cool. But they're great, yeah. yeah. But they don't have, like, the, you know, the apps yeah. and the, that kind of thing. You can't record video. And I remember I broke up with the, the comedian, and I started dating a new guy, and he was like, I'm going to get you an iPhone. And I was like, I don't want an iPhone. I don't want, <laughs> I don't like buttons. Like, I was like, I don't want one. We this always reject lame. change. Yeah. Change. So true, yeah. Hate change, right? Yeah. So I was like, no, I don't want do. it. I don't like buttons. And he's like, I'm fine. <laughs> but then he got me one. He was like, just try it. Like, stop being such a little brat. I'm like, there's no <laughs> buttons. Like, it's flat. The screen yeah, being yeah, flat yeah. freaked me out. Like, there was nothing to push. Yeah. Like, I need to physically push yeah. something. I had a sidekick. Oh my god, sidekicks <laughs> were the best. Okay, guys, you need to that, like, get. You'd like flip it. Yeah, yeah, flip and it. And you it could like, do it with one hand. You're pink, like... bedazzled, <laughs> put yeah. diamond studs on it. Guys, you need to Google sidekicks. They were mine the best. had like a you know like those um you could order those stickers. Yes. Like what what do they call like those wraps, wraps like yeah, a card? Yes, yeah, you could wrap your like wrap so mine your was like sidekick. a Rasta. <laughs> Dad, she's a big Bob Marley fan. I love it. Um, <laughs> Dead. So many That's phases. Amazing. So I know, right? So many phases. Fa- Speaking of seasons and, f- and phases. Um, so then I, the guy started dating. Then he got me the iPhone. And that literally, like a few months later, Vine came out. Oh, wow. And then that's, I would have never, ha- if I never dated him, I would have never gotten the iPhone. And I never would have been on Vine. And never would have been here in this room yeah. with you right now. Yeah. How crazy yeah, is well, that? Yeah, but it's all physics. Yeah. Girl, you want to go that route? Yeah, let's You want to have these Let's get deep. I'm down. It's all physics. Look at you. She's like, I had an archaeological dig in my backyard. <laughs> we, are, we can get as deep as you no, want. No, but it's all, you know, it's all connected. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. It only makes sense, I think, you know, when we're able to pull back from it yeah. later. Do you think this you is know? our only life? Um, God. Put me on the hot seat. I know, I know. It's uh, but I love hearing people's opinions. I don't know. I believe what I believe is that I don't know. Yeah, like you that's really sort don't of my know. religion. Okay. And I and I guess if I were to believe anything, I believe that everything's energy. So based on that, True. I think it opens up a lot of really interesting questions and conversations as far as like totally, you know. Parallel just, universes mm-hmm. and, you know, holograms and whatnot. And, you know, I mean, would I like to think that there's something more? Yes. Have I had moments in my life where I felt like so unusually connected to something or a particular place that's like so opposite mm-hmm. of me? Mm-hmm. That I'm have, like, have I, you know, Have you had a near death experience? Oh. <laughs> have you? Uh, I'm very curious. I mean, wh- I just had share. my last one like a week ago. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I posted no. about it. Um, <gasps> I didn't see. My husband and I. You, what the hell, I'm Brittany? Sorry, I need to Don't get. Don't you follow me? <laughs> I do follow I'm you. I need so to go like offended. it. I'm like, I go like your near death experience. I'm sorry. Let me go like and comment on your near death experience. Do you Wait. watch that? Um, there's the. Uh, oh God, I'm so bad. I'm it it's up right um, now. it's the. It's the troupe of female um, comedians from uh, Canada. It's the the Baron, the Baroness, the Baroness Von show. I've heard of it. Okay, am I've I, heard of it. I'm so bad. No, I don't even know. But um, I've heard of it. It's great. It's these these two people are sort of getting coffee, and then they meet, and then they feel like a connection between one another, but then they can't find each other on social media. Oh, they can't no. find each other on Tinder. Worse to like, so yeah, they're trying yeah. to communicate, but they're like, um, "I'm <laughs> sure I'll find you." Here and then they just sort of it just all falls apart. They can't find yeah, each other. And they're the like, worst. Well, I guess I'll find you. We'll like yeah. each other. Why, why is your name something not what your name is? Like, <laughs> I can't find you. I did that the other day with an eyelash girl. But but I want to hear about your new if you want to talk about it. Do you not want to talk about it? No, it yeah, no, I posted about it. I mean, um, we were just uh, like at night driving, we'd had a great day uh-huh. uh, at the beach. Um, this was up in Toronto. Uh-huh. Have you been? To Toronto? I think once, yeah. I don't so there's really Lakeshore Boulevard. Okay. Uh, it's sort of like a freeway in a sense. Um, it's like maybe four lanes each side. Uh huh. And then it goes up into the expressway, which uh-huh. is you know the highway, right? Right. Um, point. People sort of fly on this road, Go and too fast. Um, here she comes. Gonna come she's gonna come for you. Me. She's like she's talking about near death experience. Yes. Yeah. And we were. I was just looking at my husband. We were talking and. Um, Something just made me just look back, and it all happened so quickly, and I only remember, like, 
a few moments, but there were headlights, like literally right, like right where this wall is behind you. No, in fr- like oh, facing in front, facing us. Of you. Oh. Yeah, and he said, I don't remember, but he said that I gasped very loudly and then I cut the wheel. We, you were driving to the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so I remember seeing the lights, and I remember right away looking in my side mirror and seeing the car fly back on to their side of the road their side of the road but it must it's kind of wonky there because it's like right on where all the beaches are so it's like you've got these ways to cross over okay right but it's like four lanes of one way and then four lanes of another so right. he went flying back onto that side but it must have been some like on ramp for us it was like maybe 10 o'clock at night uh huh and then I remember looking in my rear view and seeing lights behind me close enough where I then thought, oh my God, did I cut somebody off right, and right. I happened to not hit them because they just reacted. Right, right. You they were just were trying like to a get foot out of the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it was very close to just being like. A head on collision. Yeah, so that, I mean, it all happened like so quickly. Oh my God, that's and then, so scary. And we were just dead silent. We were stunned. And then um, Mike just sort of said, uh, I mean, we were just shocked. He's yeah. like, was that car on the other side of the road? And then yeah, the wrong side that car was. You on like the you wrong can't compute it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're and like, why was it in our lane? Yeah. So we pulled over, and by then I was sort of like hyperventilated and had a moment, <sighs> oh and just my because I was so keenly aware, right, that what I was feeling in the moment with Mike uh-huh. was like ninety five percent not supposed to happen, or ninety nine point nine percent not right, supposed right, to right, happen, right? And here we still were. I mean, the chances that you just happened to look. To look back. And I felt, I was so keenly aware of, I felt like that was, there was such a high potential for that to just be our story. Ah, uh, that's like, so And scary. we had our dog in the backseat. Oh, like, Mina Sari and Michael dog. Hope killed. And not the dog. You know, oh. on a, a head coming, you know. Incoming, uh, yeah. Do you think the person was drunk? Probably. Yeah, I mean, it was um, it was like Sunday too. night. It yeah. was probably, you know, the weekend. It was late. Uh, clearly. I mean, I don't know. I'm Isn't sure you have to be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, inebriated to, to, in to some way. To drive all like, the way into someone else's lane. To get literally on the freeway in the wrong way. Yes. Um, but we didn't hear anything uh, in the news, and I'm hoping that, you know, everything Nothing was fine. Happened, yeah. yeah. I couldn't. I didn't so get a plate. Things. I didn't get anything. This has happened to me before. <laughs> What? And I was able to actually someone um, head on almost head on collision you before. Yeah, Jeez. this was years ago, and I was heading to an audition. But I was able to get the plate, and I called in, and that one was really gnarly. <laughs> oh my god! You have like nine lives. Are you a cat? Like that's Honey. very scary. Oh yeah, I've had crazy. Oh my god! Yeah. but I, I I was able to get that person off the road. Oh, they, thank they god. called me back. After good, my audition. <laughs> yeah. good, and you were like, uh, "Excuse me, this person almost just killed me on my way to my audition." Yeah, they well, they were coming right at me. And is this on the one hundred and one? No, this is on Highland. You know oh. when you cross over Wilshire and it turns into just uh, one lane. Yes. And I was coming up. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm like 30, 35. Yeah. But there were cars stopping, right. and I saw this pickup truck flying at me. It's eleven <gasps> in the morning, and I'm going to an audition. Uh I'm like, Bleh. oh, you're like all in your head with your lines or like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, just like, yeah, my own, you know, conversations that we have with ourselves. Right? Yes. Like, Whoa, yes. A bunch of crap in our heads. Right. And then I look up and there was a split second where I was like this. I'm going to have a head on collision right with now. This person. This yeah. This person's that close. And it was a pickup truck and they're flying at me. And the, la- <laughs> like, oh my God. the last second he cuts it all the way to the right. Oh my God. Goes up on the curb. Oh my God. And smashes into a tree. Like, no. Maybe th- at least, maybe three to four feet wide. Smashes the entire uh, front end of the pickup, crumples. And I'm sitting there in the car and I'm going, oh, oh my God. And he's sort of like kitty corner to me. And I'm looking and I got the plate. And then I see him put it in reverse. No, he doesn't. And with the whole front of the car like smashing. smoking. He puts he it knew. in He's reverse. Like, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> he was so messed up. He puts oh, it in reverse. No. 
falls back off the curb no. and then just like scudders it away off and drives off. There's and just thought, like wheels falling off. <laughs> oh my I God. I thought he's going to kill somebody. For sure. And so uh, I called 911 right away. And I, You're I'm like, like this guy just crashed into a tree dead. I love it. And they um, they called me uh, back uh, hours later and they said we got the guy and he was um, he was drunk. And... Oh my God. Guys, please, please, yeah. for the love of God, do not drink and drive. Please. Like it's, it's just, so bad. I mean, again, like what happened in Toronto, it's just literally like that, that just that nanosecond. Yeah. And it's true. Like, that's it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. You know, and it's, it's so quick. Mm-hmm. And I mean, my husband and I were just, we, we went and laid out all day. Like, and we just had a beautiful day. We had a beautiful yeah, day yeah, a walking day. the dog. And yes. it's like, and then that's it. And it's something that, you know, you're thinking, like, I was telling my girlfriend, you're thinking, like, I am abiding by the rules. Like I'm in my yes. lane. Yes. I'm going the speed limit. Nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm doing what I'm it's supposed to be night, doing. It's at night, and it. I mean, and it's like coming at you. Yeah. You, know? you yeah. can't. You can't ever plan these things, and no. it's all back to those cliches of like be in the moment yes. and enjoy what you can yes. and it's really all about love and yes. like our experiences here and none of this shit matters yes and because you never know guys when you're last mo- and I say that to my husband all the time too I'm always like god it's so crazy I mean his his um his producer yesterday was at our house and he got a phone call and was like I have to go my brother just got into a motorcycle oh accident my god which is so crazy and we were like whoa oh my god okay go like get out of here you know go do your thing and then he calls us like four hours later and he's like he got killed by <gasps> a, a drunk driver he got killed which is so crazy because we did like oh it's just like f- five seconds of him sitting there going oh i just got to call my brother got in a motorcycle accident i'll be back they said it's not good i'm sure it'll be fine though you know you like initially think everything's gonna be okay and he died he got hit I'm by so someone sorry. else no i know it's i and i didn't know his brother but it's just crazy how in that moment i mean my husband knew his brother and it was kind of weird because he's like oh my god I, like it's so weird just like this guy just came to our concert and like it was oh you god. know it's like so weird I mean, this is like a whole I, this is why i hate motorcycles i hate motorcycles too like, guys i, I just... mean that's not my first that's not the first person i've known I know. like my my friend's fiance i mean in la it's not really the greatest place to ride a motorcycle they say your life expectancy if <sighs> if a motorcycle is your main source of transportation your life expectancy is five years what? Yeah, that's what the the quote is. Like, isn't that insane? Because and I had no idea my if it's your main source of transportation, that's your quote of living is five years from yeah. when you start making it. Just... You don't drive anything else or ride on anything else. Because people are just in a rush. It's just bad everywhere. Yeah. Just yeah. transportation, yeah. everything would be because of everybody being on their phones. Yeah, everybody on their phones, everybody on a rush, like everybody just they're not paying attention. There's too much yeah. going on. You know, everybody's trying to get somewhere. There's too many people on the road. It's just a lot. And, you know, um, like my my friend's, uh, my friend's fiance was, he was hit on Mulholland going like oh up the Mulholland. He got hit. He got run over by another car and they ripped all his fingers off on one hand, but he lived. Okay. A motorcycle oh accident. God. Yeah. Isn't that insane? He got hit. Oh. He flipped over another car. Somebody was, he, he, he had a green light and they were, they tried to turn and they just hit him. And uh, thinking like, so thinking I like, have oh, a green I can make light. It. I, yeah, 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 yeah. And he and he was had a green light. He was straight, wasn't in the wrong. And they hit him, and he ripped, lost three of his fingers, and then literally was in a coma. And then a year later, got back on the motorcycle. Oh my god! He was on the one hundred and one, and was oh. coming home. And somebody switched lanes and did not look before they switched lanes and see him. And he because swore- people don't because people don't, don't look. You don't think people yeah. are thinking of motorcycles coming up, right? Exactly. You know? So scary. they switch lanes, and then he swerved to get out of the way because the car was coming over, and then he hit the median and flipped over, oh. and then a car came in the other way, hit him, and killed him. Isn't that insane? It's insane. I'm, oh my it's gosh. insane. And and it's so weird because I remember her saying to me that morning, not to get so depressing with the podcast. Sorry, guys. I know, um, have we? We get deep. We get deep here. It's I mean, okay. It's real, we though. talk about real life. It's worse first in many different ways. Um, I remember her telling me like that morning he had just texted her like something really beautiful, and then that was the last thing that she ever heard from him. And it's just so heartbreaking, you know. So basically, moral of the story is: be a good person, be as kind as you can, and 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 you know try to try to live a good life guys and and try to be grateful for every be day grateful. even the hard days because you know what yeah some days suck and i know i've been there like obviously up and down all my emotional roller coaster with all my mental bad stuff. days yeah you, 
What are these bad days? Dead. I have I've so many never bad days. Heard of that. Yeah, I know, right? It's so <laughs> crazy. I know, right? So everyone what has their days. Bad day everyone thing. has their days. Dead. You're like, I've never had a bad day in my life. I'm like, okay, shut up, Mina. We're trying to make a I point here. Imagine. God. Uh, she's like, what's a bad day? Oh, what's a bad day? Uh, I don't get it. My life has been great. I got signed to a model agency when I was eight, and it's just been the up and up since there. I'm on this <laughs> new show, American Woman, and uh, I've been a oh, dear, American Woman. I love that. It was nice. What, is it gone? Yeah. No. I loved <laughs> it. I'm so bummed. My character, she became a, a casting agent. And um, our prop, or in our art department, they made business cards. Oh, I love that. For her, Kathleen Callahan. Uh-huh. And um, we did, like, this photo shoot for uh, photos, you know, within the office. So in my office... I have Kathleen's headshot and her business card frame. Dead. People come in, they're like, uh, what is this? I love that, though. It was fun. That's amazing. It's fun, like, when you're, you know, you're acting, filming scenes that involve acting. Yes. Like, we had a scene where um, uh, it's it's me and then uh, I have our client in, so I'm the casting uh, agent. Um, it's, like a, it's like a sitcom or something that we're casting. Yes. And we have this young actress, and she she came in, and she's like, you know, performing this monologue, and you're you're like filming it. It was just, it's funny. It's always kind of like a, you know, weird like Russian doll. Yes, you're like um, we're acting inside yeah. of acting inside yeah. of acting, yeah. and it's it's layered. I love that. But it was nice to like be on that side when you can sort of put together all of those moments where you've had like casting director experience and you're like now I'm now I'm them. doing that now I know I know yeah. oh my god that's yeah. a whole nother podcast casting yeah. director experiences Jesus yeah. um well where can everyone find you on Instagram Mina Suvari right is just yeah, your name I used to be on Twitter and Facebook you're not on anymore I got rid of good who cares because no no that was part cares. of my mental breakdown yeah like, everyone's like fuck it's too much it's too, many too apps. much too it was many apps. it was too much to sort of like this whole crossover and I felt like for me it's really nice to have my Instagram it's like very yes. visual it's easy I love your Instagram I'm it's beautiful and it's not so very tech savvy it's so fun I'm too and, there. I, and you it's such a happy Instagram guys if you ever just want like a feel good Instagram go to Mina's Instagram it's at Mina Suvari M-E-N-A-S-U-V-A-R-I and I love it is there anything that you want to promote that you're that's going on or coming up that I've yeah, share with everybody? Um, I mean, one of the things that I'm most proud of, and it sort of ties into like some of our conversations, um, I was able to last year work on this amazing film uh, based on the life of Treya Wilbur and Ken Wilbur. Uh, it's called Grace and Grit. What is that? Who are they? Ken Wilbur is, um, I mean, there's not enough words that can explain what a genius of a man this 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 person is oh, wow. um, absolutely incredible, uh-huh. um, very much a philosopher of our times. Oh wow! And the the website and the our trailer that we have now is um, on my page as yeah. my bio. It's graceandgrit.com. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be coming wow, out soon, s- and it's such a that. it's such a beautiful love story, oh, just cool. about. Um, Eternal Life and Eternal Love. It's called Grace and Grit. It's based on the book. Okay. Uh, it's directed by uh, Sebastian Siegel. And so it's something that I'm really proud of that personally changed my life. A I lot, love so. that. So I have the link there on my page. Guys, go to her yeah. Instagram and check out the link, Grace and Grit. Check me out. I'm I don't have a lot of followers out. like no, Brittany, it, but it. You should have I'm way there. more, and you're going to get them after this. I'll tell you that for sure. People are going to be like, oh, my God, we're so happy to have you. I'm so grateful that you came. Thank you. I'm so happy nice to, to like connect. meet you and just have Thank you in you. my presence, and just your energy is great, and you're an awesome person. Thank you. And it just literally looks the same that you've had oh, since you were so younger. You look exactly the same which is insane yeah. like some people just don't age which is was like, like who's the vampire blood that you're drinking I love <laughs> it. Like, where is where do i get this what's the secret but um guys go to her page at mina savari thank you so much for being thank here. you for I having love me love you girl and anytime you want to talk i'm <laughs> oh girl come on down to calabasas i got all the time in the world <laughs> nina gave me half hugs yeah she nina. was like halfway there nina but. The wiener. and guys make sure to like and subscribe on the youtube channel there's live videos on the youtube channel if you're watching this right now hi thanks for being here leave a comment and uh i'll check it out even if it's a mean one and i love you guys and thank you so much to those of you for the support and we'll see you next week on the worst face We were kidding!